So we do see a correlation between the COVID time period uh, and the illicit drug crisis. BC's overdose crisis has been blanketed by a public health emergency for over four years now. But exactly one month ago, the coroner came out with numbers that astounded even more. 171 illicit drug deaths in May, the province's highest ever monthly total. Now, that record has been eclipsed again, 175 overdose deaths in June. The toxicology reports also shed light on a disturbing pattern coinciding with the pandemic, an increase in the number of cases with with extreme fentanyl concentrations for April, May and June. What that leads us to believe is that obviously with a more toxic drug supply, um, it, people are, uh, even if they have a higher resistance, you know, it, it's creating challenges for people using drugs and obviously more lethal consequences. It highlights a tale of two public health emergencies. 176 people died of COVID-19 in the first six months of this year combined, and the same number of people died of a drug overdose in June alone. A stark perspective, but don't compare the two, says the Premier. I just think that these are two separate things. We have a, an insidious virus that affects anyone at any time, and we have uh, an opioid crisis that involves people using drugs. Uh, those are choices initially and then they become dependencies. When pressed on the province's response to the pandemic versus the way it's handled the opioid crisis, John Horgan went on the defensive. You can't compare no one getting on public transit to an opioid crisis. No one was getting on public transit because they were fearful of a virus that we don't understand fully and that is easily transmitted in the broader community. It juxtaposes how they treat COVID and how they treat the overdoses, and it's just heartbreaking. Advocates argue the dual public health emergencies are on a dangerous collision course. COVID measures are preventing guests from visiting SROs, a deadly catalyst for the many using alone. Very basic messaging was don't shoot dope alone, and now we won't let them have a guest in the room. So it's it feels like a manufactured um crisis and that no one will use logic. Pandemic or not, the province continues to push for a safer drug supply. And John Horgan recently became the first premier to call for the decriminalization of hard drugs, a call that's ultimately left to Ottawa to answer. Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Vancouver.